Suppose your name is Deepa and I come to you and say, Deepa, climb Mount Everest. You'll be like, Mount Everest? How would I climb? It's so tough to climb and I don't have any experience of climbing, right? Instead, if I come and tell you that, Deepa, I know you can do this. I know you have all the capacities and capabilities to do this. Don't underestimate yourself. Climb Mount Everest. You can do this. I know you can do this. That, can you feel the difference? Exactly. This is what is happening to all the students. Many students are pinging me saying that, sir, qualifying this time looks like a Mount Everest. It's tough. It's getting really difficult revising, studying, and it all is killing me. And that's the kind of messages I'm getting. So I'm making this video to not console you or motivate you, but to give you step-by-step -step process through which you can calm your mind and focus on studies, which is very, very important at this juncture. So like I said in the beginning of this video, if I say climb Mount Everest, you will be scared. If I say, I know you can do this, just focus on the next step. You can do it. Keep doing going forward and definitely you will re reach there. So let me give you a five step process today, which will help you achieve the Mount Everest, which in front of you so far is a JRF or a LS in CSIR. Right. So. Uh, let's start with the first step and the first step, no, there's no denying fact about it. The first step is obviously learning concepts and uh, the better way or the best way to do that at this juncture or to revise your concepts, even though you have studied already, is to draw. Okay. The more you draw, the more you create a flowchart, the more you write after, uh, you know, studying. So that is going to help. So you know, draw flowcharts, draw mind maps. And if you don't know how to do that, reach out to me. I'll give you some samples. And that way you should, you know, uh, rewrite your notes because that will be less. It will take less time and it will help in active revision. So that's uh, the point which I want to make. So even if you're learning a concept for the first time or you're doing, you're learning for the next time, uh, what you can do is comment below or just email me at shekhar at biotechnica.org. I'll send you some sample notes and sample mind maps and sample uh, flowcharts. You, you will, you, by looking at that, you will understand, okay, this is how exactly I should be uh, revising. Okay, so that's the first step, no denying fact about it. You have to revise this way. Now coming to the second one, which is very, very important and most of the students ignore is invest in a revision course. Now, why exactly I am stressing on this point is because let us look at it this way that you want to, you know, build a study habit or revision habit. So you're doing that. But some days you will feel like, Are, chodo, let's not do it. But when you have paid the fees and you start attending classes, now there will be a fixed, suppose uh, like for Biotechnica, we started the fast track batch and that's at 8.30 to 10 o'clock at night. So, you know, you attend that class. So what happens is you have a schedule. It is very important to fix a schedule for yourself. Right. And I have seen it multiple times that when you do not tie up yourself to a fixed schedule, uh, that learning habit will not build up and eventually you will start losing track and then you will feel like, oh my God, how should I climb this Mount Everest? Right. So invest in a revision course. It will pay back to you 20 lakh rupees because if you invest 5000 rupees, that's 4995. That's a fees of uh, the fast track batch, which we have. If you invest in that, and if you qualify JRF, I think 20 lakh rupees you get back. So it's a win-win deal. So why not do that? So invest in a course so that you can build daily studying habit, which is at the core of your revision process. Because if you're not doing that, if you don't see others studying, you'll not feel like studying or probably you will lose motivation, you will lose track. And that's my second point. Now, quickly on the third point, which is very important is active recall methods, which uh, I have already made a video on that. Please check check that out. Now, active recall methods of revision is a shortcut to revision. Like uh, if I tell you that, you know, you have to cook a full meal, like, you know, main course and then starter and then, um, uh, you know, dessert. So it will take a lot of time, right? Instead, I say, okay, just cook Maggie, right? So the active recall method, which I'm telling you is the Maggie of revision, right? In two minutes, you will be able to revise everything. So I highly recommend you watch that video. I'll ask uh, the team to include that link in the description. Otherwise, uh, you can just email me. I'll send across the link to you. So use active recall methods to revise. That's like a shortcut Maggie method to revise for CSN. It's very, very effective and very important. And I personally train a lot of students on this and uh, all the students who are enrolled in Biotechnica, um, if anybody wants 
to train, you know, get training for active recall, just ping me in WhatsApp. I'll guide, guide you on that. Okay. So that's the third point for today. And the fourth point is, of course, solving questions. Now, generally, what we do in solving questions, we I'll go and take a previous a question paper. I'll start solving, right? But that will take a lot of time because you don't know which question is easy, which which question is tough, and then. Potentially, you would have spent a lot of time solving a lot of previous previous question papers, but now you will find that I don't have time now to revise other things or you know do other things, and potentially that will lead to more frustration, right? So instead, I have two shortcuts for you here also. The first shortcut is you can uh, get access to the Toughnet Question Bank. In fact, all the fast track revision students are getting this uh, Toughnet Question Bank uh, ebook uh, free of cost. So you can take that and you can start solving only the difficult questions of CS and previous question papers. So what will happen is you will be able to solve better, solve faster, and you will get better results also. And you are not wasting a lot of time solving big, you know, uh, 135 uh, questions of each paper. Now, another point which I have is, you know, you have to remember that CSIR net is a rejection game. So the paper setter is putting uh, more of the trap questions and time taking questions. So I call it as a trap question or as a time taking question. So time traps or um, difficulty traps. So whether it is a difficulty trap or a time trap, you have to know that, okay, if I try to solve this question, it will take a lot of time instead. Why don't I do this, right? For example, um, uh, like I will spend 20 minutes in making this video. In that 20 minutes, I can make 10 shots, right? The same way, uh, if this particular question is take, going to take 20 minutes, in that 20 minutes, I can solve 10 more questions, right? So let me skip that. So paper setters put in time traps as well as, uh, you know, these are dynamites. They'll explode in your question paper. So time traps as well as difficulty traps. Ignore that. Stop uh, trying to attempt that because nobody is going to give you a Nobel Prize for solving the toughest question in CSANET. At the end of the day, people are going to see that, okay, this is the amount of, uh, this, this is the number of questions you have marked correctly and you get your score, right? So that's something which you have to know. That's the fourth point for today and coming to the last point. Last point is closely associated with what I told you in the beginning and that is Mount Everest, right? If I ask you, uh, Go climb Mount Everest, you'll be like, oh my God, that's so tough. Instead, I say, I know you can do it. I know you have all the capacities. I know you can do this. Just try the first step. And that's called motivation. When you club motivation with habits and when you continuously, persistently, continuously do, uh, you know, execute your plan, that's where success happens. So all I'm telling you is if you are not in touch with me, please do so. My email ID is shekhar at biotechnica.org. And all the students who are enrolled in Biotechnica, you will have on your, you know, my direct WhatsApp number. You can ping me whenever you feel like. Just send me an audio message or a, a, a text message whenever you feel low, whenever you feel that you need guidance, you need support, you need some kind of personalized timetable or personalized attention from me. I'm right here to help you. So these are the five steps which I wanted to tell you. Step by step, you will get there. It is not the concepts which will help you qualify CSI net. It is the strategy which will help you qualify CSI net. Now, uh, let me tell you, if even if I have all the muscular power, I still cannot lift 100 kg. But if I have the fulcrum, I can lift 200 kg also. So fulcrum is the strategy. My muscle power is not the strategy. So point here is keep yourself hydrated with motivation. Follow these five steps which I told you and you are going to get there. I wish you all the best for your CSIN and preparation. If you have not enrolled in the fast track revision course, please do that. This 5,000 rupees, 4,999 rupees will get you 20 lakh rupees. I think that's a win-win investment you can make in your brain. All the best and see you soon as our student. And if not, at least a JRF this year. And I'll be so proud of you. All the best. Stay blessed. Keep revising and stay in touch. All the best. Bye-bye.